This is Ben Consoli for PremiumBeat.com. I am a director and editor, and I use Final Cut Pro 10 on all of my projects. This is a short tutorial on the relinking function in Final Cut Pro 10 and how to use it with stock music. Many stock music sites allow you to download demo versions of their tracks for free, and you can easily replace the demos with the full versions with the relinking function. You can also maintain all of your edits, settings, and adjustments that you made to the demo version. So here we are in the Final Cut Pro 10 interface. I find my piece of stock music. I know I only need the beginning, so I highlight it and press Q. I'm going to highlight the video portion here, press V so it's inactive, just to make it easier for us. Zoom in, take a listen. Now I know I want to make a cut here because I want to get to the meat of the song a little faster. Then I make all my trims, I adjust my handles, and I get everything exactly the way that I want. Then we take a listen. Now we're using the free sample version of this track and it has an audible watermark. That's that voice you hear saying premiumbeat.com. But when you purchase the full version, you get a higher quality file with no watermarks. So we're going to replace our audio here by clicking it, going to File, Relink Event Files, Locate Selected. Then we navigate through the finder to find the full version that we want to replace it with. Click Choose, and you'll see the original file on the left and the file you're replacing it with on the right. Then I press Relink Files, and you can actually see the audio file change. Let's take a listen. We've successfully replaced the old audio file with the new audio file, but all of my adjustments, pans, filters, and more have remained the same. More people use Final Cut Pro 10 today than have ever used Final Cut Pro 7, and that's because it's new, it's different, and it's better. And if you learn it the right way, I'm sure you'll agree. RippleTraining.com and LarryJordan.biz are two ways that I highly recommend to get great tutorials and learn how to use Final Cut Pro 10 the right way. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.